Hey, folks, we've got some NBA action on deck. Tonight is featuring the in-season tournament. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And the upcoming schedule for the Brooklyn Nets. On Thursday, they kick off a road trip in Miami where they'll take on the Heat. Then on Sunday, they go back home and will be hosting the Philadelphia 76ers. And for the game against the Hawks, they'll need to be pretty much perfect for that one. Anything less than that means they're in for a tough evening. I'll look at Orlando's opening lineup. And it's Scott in at the three. And for Brooklyn, Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. And the Magic start out with a ball. And here's Anderson. Pass to Hardaway. Stripped away. Kid, the pass to Jefferson. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three point play. Hardaway, his first personal. First team foul. At the line, Richard Jefferson. At the line, one time. And Doris, for Brooklyn, what do you think their biggest challenge will be retooling this roster? PA, one of the problems they face, they don't own many of their own draft picks. So acquiring key pieces has to come through trades and free agency. And with that, you then have to have the salary cap implications to deal with. This is not easy. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway, Martin. And he parries his first look. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Here's Orlando. It's a three-point game. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. That was a tremendous all-around game. Their intensity was there, and their production was right there along with it, too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end. They were so efficient in almost every aspect. Here's Kidd. 37 points his last time out. Six to shoot. Martin with a screen on Anderson. Fires the three. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I'll tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Well, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Kid, the pass to Kittles. To the middle. Here's Van Horn. That one is off. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Outside, Anderson. Pass to O'Neal. Hardaway on the wing. He's now one for two with that bucket. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Here's Kidd. Oh, the block shot. Grabs it out of the air. Outside Hardaway. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. The Nets in fifth. Last year, they were so good at generating open looks from distance. That's why their three-point shooting was so high. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. Pass to Jefferson. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. I love this approach. 
getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Outside Hardaway. Outside Anderson. The fadeaway. That's good from Hardaway on the assist by Anderson. Hardaway's got his second basket on the night. So effective from mid-range. He's never questioned about taking that shot. Brooklyn with the ball. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the Magic this year. <laughs> no one was surprised last year when they won their season series against this team. And most people expect this to be a repeat of that, too. You take nothing for granted. These teams are very familiar with one another, and we expect a close contest. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. The go-ahead bucket, no good. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. Here's Kittles. O'Neal pulls it in. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. With the step back. Here's Kidd. Yet to see a basket. Kittles passes to Martin. Five on the clock to the paint. Stolen by Anderson. moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Brooklyn. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. That free throw, no good. And it's tied up with that one. The Nets have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Kittles. And the lamp is good off the glass. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Outside Hardaway. Screen by O'Neal. To the inside. Knocked loose. And out of bounds. The Nets will take it. And the Nets with possession here. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. Jefferson can't hit. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Offensive rebound. O'Neal misses. Unbelievable. He blew that look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Pass to Jefferson. Shoots over Anderson. Jefferson. Good. <laughs> Jefferson's got seven. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Orlando trailing here. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And the Magic call time here.
Nets on D. They lead by four. Hardaway up top. Turned in an outstanding game against Milwaukee. Grant, the pass to Scott. Just four to shoot. Anderson for three. On target from range. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Kidd. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. From deep three-point land. It's hauled in by the Magic. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Hardaway. Screen by O'Neal. Hardaway, the pass to O'Neal. Here's Jefferson. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Here's Anderson. Right now, he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. And here's Hardaway. Wide open look. And he connects with a jumper. Hardaway's got six. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Jefferson can't hit. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Here's Scott. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Milwaukee. Hope loose. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. A line change here for Orlando. On the court. Just five to shoot. Pass to Black. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And the Magic lead by one. Here's Armstrong. Here's Kidd. Wide open. Here's Armstrong. Cut X from downtown. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. For Orlando, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Black passes to Turner. To the left side wing. Here's Shaw. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. A good look from Turner. And again, it's Orlando converting. That's three buckets in a row off assist. The Nets have got eight of 15 shots to go. Here's Kidd. No points so far. Armstrong passes to Jefferson. Here's Kidd. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, this guy seasoned enough to make the right pass within the flow of the offense. Nice work by Richard Jefferson. Second team foul. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Jason Kidd. At the line, one time. Orlando calls timeout. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. Coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed.
now looking at the 2K leaderboard. Here's a view of which teams last year got after it with their shot blocking. Number one, the Nets. They built a reputation around the league last season. Do not test them at the rim. Here's Shaw, still without a bucket. Pass to Black. Inside, here's Royal. Rebound Brooklyn. Martin's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Armstrong. The shot from the low post is good. Armstrong's got five points. Orlando has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Shaw. Here's Black. 11 points for him last game against Milwaukee. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. Shot clock at six. And the shot's good. Black's got his second basket of the night. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. The Nets with the lead. Here's Kidd, and currently his numbers are incredible, averaging almost 33 a game. And that was good. And he's 5 of 7, getting into a nice rhythm offensively. Here's Shaw. There's the drive. Knocks it loose. Here's Jefferson. He's coming off a 25-point game against Washington. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. And the Nets, another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Magic shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Out to the right wing. Here's Shaw. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Brooklyn has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Jefferson, pass to Armstrong. Now here's Williams, tightly guarded. Top of the key. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. And now an 11-point Brooklyn lead. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Pass to Jefferson. Now Martin. Here's Williams. Misses the layup. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Black. Here's Royal. He's coming off a 10-point game against Milwaukee. Shot clock at two. Here's Shaw. And it's blocked by Martin. And here they come. Here's Jefferson. That is now his seventh field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Orlando's gone one of four from deep. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Black, right now averaging five and a half a game. There's a screen by Turner. Pass to Royal, looking to end the run. Sends it home from three-point land. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment.
welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Nets, what do you think, guys? Well, you have to look at the advantage they have in the turnover department. I mean, that's a huge advantage for them in this game. Offensively, they took care of the ball. And defensively, they forced a number of miscues. So much of modern offenses include hunting for mismatches. Doris, if you aren't a great defender, you're targeting. And the word you used is appropriate, great defender, because teams know how to find the weakest link and attack that. They isolate that poor defender by using pick and roll action. And here's the key, B.A., you can be a really solid defender, but if you are the worst of the five on the defensive team, teams are going to seek you out. And it's Jones in at the two spot. So that's the Nets five. Caroline, one time. I think you have to admire the professionalism of Richard Jefferson, right? He's adapted his game to fit the current style of play. Here's Black. On the take. It's stolen away. Here's Jefferson. Guarded by Howard. And the shot goes. Jefferson's got five points now this quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. He makes a first. second so he hits one of two Brooklyn has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game Van Horn to pass to Kidd pass to Martin and the dunk to finish it off a beauty and taking a look at this first half they've just shown better shot selection and I think obviously we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important and we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, Magic coach Jamal Mosley talked about the leadership of this team. He said, we're going to do it by committee. Each guy is going to have a voice on a different night. We want to build them up where there's a chemistry. And as guys rise and get their voice, they get that feeling of leadership. Brian? Yeah, that's an interesting point. All right, Allie, thank you. Here's Kid. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Down low. Jefferson, pass to Kidd. And again, it's Brooklyn. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's Armstrong. No made baskets yet. Pass to O'Neal. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Martin. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. Both teams will make substitutions. Anderson 
Misses the three. The Nets have gotten off to a perfect four for four start of the second. Throws it up high. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Anderson. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Jefferson, pass to Kidd, shoots, tipped, and he's able to get it back. Here's Kittles, Anderson covers. Six on the shot clock. Out to the wing, here's Kittles. Orlando grabs the miss. Pass to Scott. Here's Shaw, still no points. to the paint to win the cold spell rebounded by the nets martin's got nine rebounds in the game boy he's getting it done this guy just can't find his rhythm and you look up at the scoreboard they absolutely need his productivity boy they'd love if anyone could get a bucket yeah their offense has been grinding to a halt pass to o'neal hits the jump hook o'neal's got seven points For Brooklyn, they've got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Kidd. He has six. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Puts up a three. Here's Van Horn. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Keith and four. At the line, two times. And he drops the first. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Orlando calls timeout. And no doubt, coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster.
The Magic have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Pass to O'Neal. And he drops it in from the low post. O'Neal's got five points in the quarter. And here are the Nets now. They're on a 13-5 run. Here's Kittles. Stolen by Anderson. Here we go. That shot is good by O'Neal. O'Neal's got 11 points. Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Brooklyn has gone three of six from deep so far. To the wing, right side. Here's Martin. It's rebounded by Grant. And so Grant will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. They trail by 16. Pass to Shaw. Anderson for three. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Here's Jefferson. Tries it from 19. Drained it for two points. Jefferson's got 23. Now, this guy used to be a highlight-level dunker, and now he's matured Richard Jefferson into catch-and-shoot specialist. Here's Shaw. He's scoreless. Pass to O'Neal. Down it goes. Jam that one home. Aggressive drive to the rack. He has some weight to throw around if that's his defender. The Nets have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Timeout, Timeout time called. Out. Brooklyn and Grant in league news. How about your Pardon? former coach? Coach K taking on an advisory role with the NBA. Well, B.A., tremendous experience in leadership from that man. Four decades at the college level. The men's national team. I mean, the league recruiting a blue chipper if there ever was one. Changing it up here. to Armstrong. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Orlando has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Royal. Anderson with it. Banks in the layup. Anderson's got his third bucket of the night. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. And out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Rebound by the Nets. 
They led the game at one point by 20. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Armstrong, no good. Orlando's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Free throw drops for Anderson. And Anderson drops them both. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Here's Kidd. Six points for him. Just five on the clock. Armstrong. Hardaway grabs the board. For Orlando, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. With the crossover. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Free throw drops for Anderson. And Anderson drops them both. The Nets have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Here's Armstrong. Anderson covers. Pass to Armstrong. Four on the clock. And the Nets miss again. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Anderson passes to Grant. Here's Armstrong. He's got seven. Using his post moves to get the two points. Armstrong's got four points now in the quarter. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Orlando has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Anderson passes to Black. Back to Anderson. Blocked! Here's Scalabrini. No points yet. Kicks it out to Bledsoe. From outside, off the mark. Orlando calls timeout.
Patrick Collins. And the Magic making a change here. Orlando has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Black passes to Anderson. 13 feet out. Rebound Brooklyn. They led the game at one point by 20. Anderson against Bledsoe. Pass to Clowney. Back to Bledsoe. Here's Armstrong. From downtown, nails it from three. Armstrong's got seven now in this quarter. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Grant with a screen on Bledsoe. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Jones. Pass to Bledsoe. Fires from deep. Royal grabs a rebound. The Magic have gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Anderson drives. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. First free throw is good. Oh, just much more assertive offensively in the second quarter. He's putting pressure on this defense and earning trips to the line. Also good, so he hits both free throws. Brooklyn has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Pass to Scalabrini. Now here's Williams. Baseline try. Count it. And the Nets lead by 14. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. So it's Orlando now. Black passes to O'Neal. Here's Anderson. Lays it up and banks it in. Anderson's got 13 points in this quarter. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Well, the Nets shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Bledsoe, right side. Jones, the pass to Scalabrini. Back to Jones. Pass to Bledsoe. Clock at six. Here's Wilson. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Bledsoe. A minute and a half left to play in the second quarter. Here's O'Neal. Williams defending. That shot is good by O'Neal. O'Neal's got 15 points. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. Well, Brooklyn's shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. Scalabrini passes to Williams. And there's the rejection. Here's Black. He's covered by Bledsoe. Out of bounds. It'll be the Nets ball. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake. A comedy of errors. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. You know... 
You can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. 59 seconds left in the second. Over to the wing. To the left wing. Lots of room. That's good on the jumper. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. For Orlando, they've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Black passes to O'Neal. And here's Anderson, defended by Jones. Shot from 12. Anderson can't get it to go. Brooklyn with the ball. Outside Jones. 24 seconds left in the half. Bledsoe can't get it to go. Orlando has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Oh, Grant throws it down. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Fires in the triple. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. And that concludes the first half. It's the Nets up by 15. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us, everybody. An uphill battle so far for the Orlando Magic. Their D has been like Swiss cheese, fellas. Thin with huge holes. I think any of us would put 30 on these guys. Even you, Ernie. Jack, where do I sign my 10-day? I was born ready. And let's take a glance at what lies ahead. A look at the upcoming schedule. And you know for that matchup with the Heat, it'll be a good test for them, but very little room for error. Even to have a chance, they've got to play their best ball at both ends. I hate to dash your hopes, but those boys ain't got a prayer. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. with a big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Brooklyn has gotten 5 of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Alright, time for an injury report. Hi guys, the head athletic trainer for the Magic provided some information. Unfortunately, the injury looks pretty serious. They're certainly thinking player safety first, so they'll likely err on the side of caution, but it does change their plans a bit. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Graham. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. Here's who Jamal Mosley is starting the second half with. And it's Anderson in at the two. Jefferson can't hit. Well, Orlando shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Outside, Anderson. Outside, Hardaway. Grant, the pass to O'Neal. Shot clock at six. Hardaway up top. Oh, deflected. And pushing it up the floor. Here comes Brooklyn. Two points. That one goes. Kids got eight. And guys, this is why coaches value playing with pace. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. Orlando's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Hardaway. Oh, the teardrop falls in. 
Hardaway's got four points now in the quarter. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Kittles passes to Jefferson. Orlando grabs the miss. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Now here's Hardaway. He's got ten. Shot clock at five. Screen by O'Neal. This one for three. Rebound Brooklyn. Martin's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Van Horn to pass to Kidd. To the inside. Here's Jefferson. Yep, that one goes. Jefferson's got 25 points in the game. What a night for Richard Jefferson. Must feel like he's in his 20s again. The Magic have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Scott. Right wing. Grant, right side. O'Neal misses. Brooklyn has got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Kid. And it's in there. <laughs> Ten points for him. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's O'Neal. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. To the middle. Here's Jefferson. And that one is hammered home. Well, any time Richard Jefferson gets in there, you better prepare for liftoff. The Magic have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Now here's Hardaway. Defense right on him. Here's O'Neal. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense. Not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball. Really helping his team hang around this one. Brooklyn with the ball. After the basket by Orlando. Kid, the pass to Kittles. Here's Jefferson. Releases. And again, it's Brooklyn. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. The Magic have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, the last five MVP award winners have come from Europe, and this summer we saw Victor Wembanyama from France drafted first overall, and that's good for business. Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum said the numbers are large. They start with a B. That's how big the business is internationally, but we think we're just scratching the surface. B.A.? Yeah, that's a good point. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. Man, he's in a lot of pain. And by the look of it, guys, this could be serious. Well, these are the moments that can be gut-wrenching for him and his team, right? Anytime you see an injury like this, certainly your heart goes out to him and to his family. Timeout call, Brooklyn.
Pass to Kidd. Here's Armstrong. Anderson covers. Banked it in off the glass. Anderson's got 19 points. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. The Nets have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Kid, the pass to Jefferson. Three-pointer. The shot by Kid, no good. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Hardaway finds Anderson. Right side, Hardaway. That one rolls around and rims out. Brooklyn's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Kid, the pass to Armstrong. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jefferson's got 31. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Now here's Hardaway. The D's right on him. Six on the shot clock. Grab the screen. Floats one. Here's Scott. Buries it from three. Scott's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. So it's Brooklyn now. Here's Kidd. Ten points for him. Pass to Van Horn. 4-3. Drops in the three. Van Horn's got five now. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Outside Hardaway. Now here's Anderson. Grant, left side. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Nets. These guys have incredible stamina based on how they've been running the floor. Using speedy transition play to get fast break points. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity forcing turnovers coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. The Nets have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. All sorts of time. The shot off that time. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. That one's good from Hardaway. That one's no good. Brooklyn's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Clowney. Here's Armstrong. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. 
You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Hardaway, the pass to Anderson. Fader on the way, and that one drops. Anderson's got 21. Brooklyn has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Stolen by Anderson. Inside. Here's Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Here's Kidd. He's got 10. Out to the right wing. Pass to Jefferson. Here's Kidd. Down to five on the shot clock. Boy, it's been a tough game for him offensively. Orlando has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Outside Hardaway. To the inside. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Nets with the lead. Here's Kidd. And currently his numbers are incredible. Averaging almost 33 a game. Outside Hardaway. Grant outside. Pass to Anderson. Kidd with a rebound. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed a fade away. Here's Jefferson. Plenty of space. The shot by Kidd, no good. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. To the right side. Anderson for three. Collins with the rebound. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Grant brings a double. Pass to Kidd. Here's Jefferson. Out left to the wing to stop the drought. Armstrong, no good. Orlando trailing here. Now Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Timeout called. Brooklyn. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Making a switch here. Brooklyn's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. 
Bledsoe against Hardaway. Bledsoe outside. Pass to Jones. To win the drought. And he hits the jumper. Scalabrini's got his first basket. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. The Magic shooting about 56% in this one. Outside Hardaway. Over to the wing. 133 left in the third quarter. Royal can't get it to go. Brooklyn has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Here's Jones. From down in the low post, it goes. Jones has got his first two points of the night. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. So it's Orlando now. Nine-point game. Hardaway up top. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. 102 left in the third. Hardaway against Bledsoe. Here's Williams. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Now there's your rim protection. That's how you defend the post. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. Fast break. Here we go. On up the court. Good D by Hardaway. Bledsoe's gone one of five from the field. Outside Hardaway. Nice shot there. Making him eight for 13. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. And it's Jones with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Six to shoot. Pass to Bledsoe. The three knocks it down from distance. Bledsoe's got five points. Yeah, he's really giving up size in that matchup. But on the perimeter, he can find the room he needs. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You'll love the unselfish play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Orlando shooting 56% today. Now, here's Hardaway. Tight defense on him. They set the screen. Shot clock at six. Good. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And for the Magic. Double by Turner to the paint. Here's Kidd. Sinks that one from the post. Yeah, you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Here's Hardaway following the bucket by the Nets. Pass to Black. Back to Hardaway. And a nice finish on the layup. Hardaway's got four points this quarter. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. 
Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Out to the right wing. Here's Jefferson. Here's Kidd. Defended by Hardaway. Really left him alone that time. And the Nets lead by eight. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Here's Black. Pass to Hardaway. To the wing, right side. Five to shoot. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got rebound number 11. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. Kidd, the pass to Kittles, to the middle. Jefferson, oh, and makes it with the kiss. And it's a 10-point Nets lead. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. The Magic have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Black. Down low. Royal can't get it to go. Brooklyn's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Jefferson, pass to Van Horn. Here's Kidd. Hardaway comes with a double. Launches a three. The shot by Kidd, no good. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Hardaway, the pass to Black. Oh, there's the alley! Here they come with numbers in transition. Kid with the bucket. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Outside Hardaway. They set the pick. Pass to Black. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Timeout call, Brooklyn. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Jack Vaughn had some advice for the team over that last break. Despite the lead, Coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. PA? As always, Ali, we thank you. Here's Kid. And it's time for an injury report. Thanks, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Orlando. They told me it's a collapsed lung, a serious situation, and we're all hoping that he's okay. While not severe, this is still a serious diagnosis that usually keeps guys off the court for a short period. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks. Well, we're all hoping he gets healthy quickly, guys. Yes, we do. And, and these trainers are so good at what they do. 
Hopefully, they'll be able to get him back on the court soon. Number double zero. This was push on. First team foul. At the line, shooting the Brooklyn. Can you mark? At the line, one time. Magic have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Outside Hardaway. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. Here's Kidd. To the inside. Pass to Jefferson. Here's Armstrong. Six on the shot clock. Let's go with a three. Oh my! Came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And he hits the first of three. Second free throw, no good. He nails the third. Now Hardaway. Pass to Black. Back to Hardaway. Anderson with it. Here's Black. The three is up. Hits a three-pointer. Here's Kid. The floater, and it's good for two. Kid's got eight points in the quarter. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. For Orlando, they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Outside Hardaway. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. Yo, know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Here's Kid. Pass to Armstrong. Here's Jefferson. Anderson covers. Yep, that one's good. Jefferson's got 12 points here in the second half. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Now here's Hardaway. And again, it's Orlando converting. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. Yet another assist. <laughs> that makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Hardaway with it. Pass to Black. 
And there's the lob. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. <laughs> Great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Grant's checked in for Orlando. Here's Hardaway. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Here's Kidd. Pass to Armstrong. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by Grant. Grant's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Hardaway into the lane. Count the basket. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. At the line now for Orlando. Penny Hardaway. One time on the line. Free throw off from Hardaway. The Nets have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Inside. Here's Van Horn. He gets it in there. And the Nets lead by 12. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Orlando has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Anderson. Shoots from 12, and it's good. Two points. Anderson's got 25 points in the game. Well, it doesn't get much easier than that. Even a decent shooter is going to make that with no pressure. Brooklyn has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Here's Kidd. Fires the three. Counted from distance. Jefferson's got 40 points. You simply have to close out so hard on Richard Jefferson. He can bury you from distance. Grab the screen. Here's Hardaway. And it's blocked by Martin. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And the Nets making a change here. Williams is checked in. Here's Scott outside Hardaway. Clock at six. There's the triple. Rebound Brooklyn. Van Horn's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Kidd. Anderson covers. Here's Kidd. From the arc. And they recover it. Van Horn shot is good. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now here's Anderson. Guarded closely. Now here's Hardaway. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Hardaway's got 27. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session. But he's just not getting enough help. Brooklyn's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Here's Kidd, defended by Hardaway. Jefferson can't hit. The Magic shooting has been great this game, 58%. Anderson passes to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Anderson for three. Rebound Brooklyn. 
They led the game at one point by 20. Pass to Jefferson. And the ball out of play. The Magic will have it. And here's Hardaway. And the Magic call time here. You know, my guess right now is Coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. Anderson, grab the screen. Pass to Hardaway. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First free throw is good. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. So he hits one of two from the strike. With missed opportunities from the line this half, they're not doing themselves any favors. And again, another assist. That's another dime from him. He's tallying them up fast, B.A. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish, bringing it down with some attitude. Orlando has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Back to Hardaway. And there's the screen. It's hauled in by Van Horn. And Brooklyn shooting a fantastic 57%. To the paint. Here's Jefferson. Pass to Van Horn. Here's Kittles. Six on the shot clock. Van Horn's shot is good. Van Horn's got eight points in the quarter. And so here is Orlando. They trail by 16. And here's Hardaway. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Here's Kittles to the middle. Pass to Kidd. 
Up and over Hardaway. The shot by Kidd, no good. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Nets. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. Now here's Anderson. Outside Hardaway. Outside Anderson. And he's going for the lob! Pass to Scott. They still need this. And Anderson gets the three. Three. Here's Kidd. There's 21 seconds left in the game. Hey, yo, Richard, 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 Richard. So we see the Nets taking the W here. Grant, their first win comes in their third group game. And while they fall to one and two in the in-season tournament, not all is lost. This was a very nice regular season win to pick up. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.